Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy T, putting the G in Geek, coming to you with another episode of On a Hunt. You know, the weekly web series where I kind of tell you guys the hot books that I'm looking for. Now I gotta start this video off like I start all the videos off by saying, you know, this isn't really investment advice. This isn't really financial advice. You know what I mean? We're just trying to get some of the hot books to cover price. It's all for fun, so please don't spend your rent money. Another point of this video is to share information with each other, share information with me. I don't know what you're getting. I may want to get it. Day is young. It's the best day of the week. Comic day. So let's get right to it. As always, we're going to start out with Marvel. But before I get into the books, I got to remind you guys, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that good stuff. And with that, let's get right into Marvel. The first book I'm going to pick up from Marvel this week is Killmonger number one. Just a regular cover. This is a story about the origin of Killmonger. Uh, Black Panther was a pretty popular movie, so I mean this book might be alright. I'm going to have to have a look inside, see if I'm feeling the art. Next book I'd pick up is Venom number 9. Again, just a regular Stegman cover. Uh, a new, there's supposed to be a new twist to the Venom symbiote in this book. Also, we're supposed to learn some secrets of Eddie Brock's past. Uh, Kate's and Stegman on Venom has always been worth the pickup. It's always pretty awesome. So you know I'm going to grab that. And lastly, for Marvel, I'd pick up Winter Soldier, number one. Again, just a regular cover. Uh, this is a new iteration by Kyle Higgins and Rod Rice, Reese. Uh, it looks kind of interesting. It's supposed to be kind of him taking on a new direction, so you never know what we could get there. Um, new sidekicks, new anything, you know what I mean? Kind of, It looks like he kind of goes on the road as a fixer, so you never know what he's going to encounter with that. And that's all I'm going to grab from Marvel. Next, we're going to hit up DC. And quite a few books I'd pick up from DC this week, mainly for the covers, because it seems like DC has the stock and all the good cover artists at the moment. Uh, the first book I'd pick up from DC is Shazam, number one. Just a regular cover. Um, this is Jeff Johns writes a new Shazam book. Shazam hasn't really had his own title in a minute, so it's kind of be interesting to see what they're going to do with this character in his own title. I think it's been something crazy like 10 plus, 15 plus years. Um, plus, it's Jeff Johns always writes a good story, always writes good, so you know it's going to be interesting to see what he kind of does with the character. Uh, and with that, I just move on to some covers. The first book I'd pick up from the cover this week is Batman number 60, the Matina variant. Matina's baby, for cover prize. You know what I mean? There's a surprise ending at this book as well. Um, it's kind of supposed to be pretty interesting. Maybe some big revelations happen at the end of that, so I'm definitely going to have a flip through, and well, I'm going to grab the Matina for sure. Uh, next, I'd pick up Deathstroke number 38, the Matina variant. Matina's baby. I'll stop there. Uh, basically, this is a cool Deathstroke slash two-face cover. I like how the characters are kind of superimposed on each other, really colorful stuff. Cool for sure. I'm going to grab that. Uh, next book I'd pick up just for the cover again, Green Lantern number two, the Matina variant. Matina's baby. Okay, we get it. Uh, the colors on this cover aren't too bad. I like how it's kind of got the space base. Um, I don't know, Green Lantern looks very powerful in it. Just his pose, I don't know, he just looks godly. Uh, something interesting I'm going to pick up for sure. Uh, next book I'd pick up just for the cover again, Harley Quinn number 55, just the regular cover. Uh, this is a Christmas kind of cover issue. I don't mind it. I really like the, the kind of imagery of Harley Quinn on Santa's lap. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of neat. I like the outfit and stuff like that. Something to pick up for sure. Uh, and to go along with that, I would pick up Harley Quinn number 55, the Frank Cho variant. I like the classic Harley suit I always have, and I like when Frank Cho draws it. Harley has like a decent thickness to her. Uh, I like the scarf and everything. It's just kind of wintry, you know, how she's building the snowman. It's cool. Uh, I'm definitely going to pick that one up for sure. I think this is kind of coming close to the end of Harley's run, if not the end. So I'm kind of glad of the reprieve for that. I even started to really vet the covers because I don't know, they were starting. He was, I don't know if he was starting to run out of ideas, but they just weren't all amazing. I don't know. So I'll keep the ones I like. Um, next book I'd pick up just for the cover is Martian Manhunter number one, the Joshua Middleton variant. Uh, this is a very colorful, interesting version of Martian Manhunter. Um, I gotta admit, I do really like the cover. I don't know how it's gonna be on the inside of the book. I've never been a really a big fan of Martian Manhunter. 
but I'll probably grab this and uh, who knows I'll probably have a flip through it um, it's a nice detraction Middleton's been a lot on the Batgirl stuff so it's kind of cool to see him stray away from that kind of take on this kind of a character again um, so that, I'm gonna pick that up for sure uh, next book I'd pick up is Nightwing number 54 the Yasmin Putri variant uh, I'm loving this ne negative space cover uh, how it's kind of got the birds and it's kind of cutting through Nightwing and it just looks I don't know it's kind of got a negative space feel to it uh, definitely some cool stuff for sure that I'm gonna check out and lastly from DC I'm gonna pick up Red Hood Outlaw number 29 again the Yasmin Putri variant now I'm loving these Putri Red Hood covers uh, this one with Batwoman doesn't disappoint Putri's really killing them lately. Uh, I really love her art and stuff like that, especially on these covers. It'd be cool to me if we could maybe get some books with the interiors by Putri. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to pick up, and that's going to do it for DC. Moving right along, we're going to hit up Image, and quite a few books I'm going to take part in in the Image Lottery this week, as Mark would call it. And the first one being Die Number One. Uh, this is a Gillen and Stephanie Hands book. Uh, not only is Stephanie Hands on the cover, but she also does the interiors, which is going to be pretty cool. I don't know. I, I can't remember a book where I've seen Stephanie on the interiors, so I'm definitely going to play the image lottery on this one. Uh, next book I'm going to pick up is Freeze number one, just a regular cover again. Um, not only does this have a cool black cover, which is why I'm going to go for the regular cover, but it also has a really cool premise. Uh, everybody in the world is frozen. Um, and only one guy isn't and I guess he can choose who he freezes and unfreezes and so he tries to kind of unravel the mystery I like those world mysteries where it's like the whole world died and they're trying to figure out why or whatever the case um, Looks like it could be something cool. I'm gonna have a flip through that uh, Next book. I'm gonna pick up is prodigy number one mark Miller with Albuquerque art I do like Albuquerque at times uh, remember Netflix picked up Miller World so it'd be worth it to check out this new book supposedly they're making in this one into a series uh, Miller books have a hard time heating up but again with Netflix behind it you never know if this becomes a popular enough book definitely something to grab and have for sure so uh, I'm gonna pick up a prodigy number one for sure um, next book I'd pick up just for the cover I know everyone's gonna say but it's not just because of my usual self but that's gonna be unnatural number five the Libertore variant uh, I know this is racy pig porn and sometimes it's not in the best taste but I've noticed that some of these um, variant covers like the Monero ones and stuff like that the censored ones they actually do sell for over covers so uh, and I actually heard that this book is quite a good read so you kind of mix that where you get the racy kind of risque covers um, maybe under ordered because of it and then it's actually a really good book, so it's going to be something sought after, hopefully, in the future. I don't know. I'm going to say that that's worth picking up, or at least worth picking it up to me. Uh, I know everybody's like, oh, Cheesecake, that's why he's grabbing it. But no, not this time. There's other reasons. I mean, reasons. Uh, and lastly, from Image, I'm going to pick up The Walking Dead, number 186, the Senkovich 25th anniversary variant. I don't mind the Senkovich Negan cover. I've been collecting most of these character covers and... I don't know, some of the Senkovich ones look really weird. Some of them look really creepy. I don't mind the Negan one, so I'm going to grab that for sure. And that's going to do it for Image. Next, we're going to move on to some indie companies. The first one being Albatross Funny Books. I like to move on to some indie companies after I hit up the big three. Well, I know they call it only the big two, but I'm, Image is pretty much one of the big ones nowadays. Uh, so yeah, this is what I'm going to grab from Albatross Funny Books. Just one book this week, and that is Grumble number one. Just a regular cover. Uh, Albatross books are supposed to be doing really well right now. Um, a lot of people seem to say that they're blowing up. So I'm going to have a check out for this one. Uh, I know that we've had quite a few titles from it that have done well, so I'm definitely going to have a flip through it and see what I think. And that's going to do it for Albatross. Next, we're going to move on to antarctic press and only really a couple books i'm gonna grab from antarctic this week the first one being rags number one the second print uh, i feel that this is hands down a must grab um rags has been a huge seller number one has been a runaway train uh, even the second print at this point with how much rags the original number one is going I would almost even say to grade it I know that sounds really weird especially for a second print but come on man these books these rags number one second prints are already seeing pre-sales of $50 on eBay which is crazy to me but still something to pick up I did end up grabbing the rags number one I can't remember who put me on it but one of you guys did I'm really happy I did because I know that that's a rare book now 
And that's gonna do it for Antarctic Press. Lastly, we're gonna hit up Red 5 Comics, and the, I'm only gonna really grab one book from Red 5 this week, and that is Riptide number four. Uh, this comic is repeatedly selling out all of them, and re repeatedly for above cover. Um, it's This actual, the number four issue, is selling out online already. Um, I did manage to get number one, but I did take L's on two and three. So let's see what happens with number four. I'm not as enthusiastic because I mean I'll have one and four. Like, which means now I gotta kinda buy two and three at aftermarket prices. So I might just hang on to my number one and just stick with it. Or I might just flip the four quickly if it is selling for double or something like that. Um, but again, I really do like the art on these. Uh, the art on the covers has been amazing, especially that first one, the boat. It was like amazing painted stuff. This one looks pretty cool too. So I'm definitely going to check that out And that's going to do it for Red 5 Well guys, that's going to do it for another episode Of On The Hunt You know If you like this video, please like, subscribe Hit the bell, do all that good stuff Make sure you always check out SaddleCityComics.com Not only just the .com, but also type us in on eBay We always have a ton of books up on there We always have a ton of like low auctions And stuff like that, some good keys starting at 99 cents Definitely have a look at that uh, also this month I'm gonna make a 100% point to kind of do some of those top lists that I've been wanting to do each month You know a monthly, you know, maybe the best covers of the month Maybe the top performing specs of the month kind of see where we're at what books are doing really good Maybe give some people a last chance to kind of grab some stuff So, you know, that's coming. We always got more hauls coming and stuff like that We're on our way to Vegas. You know what? I mean to get one of our uh, some signing done So that's gonna be awesome this weekend um, I'd love to stay and chat with you guys, you know what I mean? But time is ticking. Gotta get my butt out there and get these books. Hope you guys have good luck getting these books too. See you next week. Peace.